Welcome back to Daughters of Ash, everyone. As promised, we are going to be picking it up today. Uh, where we left off. As promised, what I mean by that is uh, people asked yesterday during streaming uh, when I'm going to be next playing this game. Well, the time is right now. So, in the previous episode, we beat the... What's his name? Shit, I forgot his name. Ceaseless Discharge. That's it, that's it. We arrived there in the end. And I'm gonna be exploring the rest of this place curiously, you know? Like, genuinely curious as to what they did. Uh, in terms of enemy layout and all that. Because this area is some shit in the vanilla game. I think everybody knows that it's some shit. Luckily, they seem to have removed the Taurus Demons. Which is plus point number one. Oh shit, oh, okay. The Wormos are gonna be, I think, the main enemy. You gotta be careful with these guys because they break your armor super quickly. Okay, there's one, there's two. Okay, I think... Two is okay. Like... You can't be too mad about that. Okay, they aggro together. Oh, no, they, no, no, they don't. He, he doesn't take fire damage either. So, anyways. Nice shockwave. Fucking hell, the tracking. I'm not about to be killed by a Taurus demon. I'm about to be killed by a Taurus demon. I'm not careful. So as I was saying... Actually, I wasn't saying anything. But, welcome back to Daughters of Ash. Uh, he went down like a bitch. The only reason I'm coming over here is to check out what the item is. I'm like... Almost 100% sure it is not going to be the Chaos Amber. But you never know. We gotta find a very large Ember as well soon. Because... You know, we got the DLC to go with in a little bit. And, you know, all that good shit. So it's like... It's best to go in with a plus 15. As soon as we can. Man, do you just destroy the crotch of these enemies? I really feel for them. They're merciless. Merciless crotch destroyer. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> look at the red there. It's like a fucking sun under there, underneath. Okay, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Trying to get this item. Uh, let me just look through what I have. Used to share searing, searing pain. <laughs> Use this tainted goulash of souls. <laughs> I never noticed that. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is an interesting phrase. Speaking of goulash, thieves and murderers have been extinct in a sunlight city for centuries. Rasmo's aspiration is denied because he was too barbaric or too frighteningly effective. Ha. Huh. Goulash. Please tell me one of these. Uh, has like fire resistance. They don't. Oh, shit. Am I seriously about to do this? Mm. I'm dead as fuck. <sighs> Should I use an Elizabeth? Should I pop the Elizabeth mushroom? Actually... When am I ever gonna need? I, I've never used an Elizabeth mushroom in my life. Now that I think about it. It 
it didn't work. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I seem to remember Elizabeth Mushroom's restoring way more life than that. Uh, to the point where you were like almost invincible. So either they changed the way Elizabeth Mushrooms work. Or that lava does so much fucking damage that it doesn't... Not even the power of the Liz Mushroom can like counter counteract the effects. Well, that for a Tainite chunk, which is nice, but kind of useless when I don't have the Ember. Uh, I gotta run all the way back there to get my souls. That's the annoying part. More about, more annoyed about that than having to like use a humanity and all that. So, anyways, that was a nice experiment. I mean, we had to see, didn't we? Yeah, you can tell why these guys will pop up, actually, out of the ground. Uh, this is uh, this area is so huge. That's the other thing that sucks. Like aside from the layout and the enemy placement in this area, the other thing that sucks about it, and this is like, you know, a deeper issue than this mod can fix, is just how like massive it is. You feel like you end up running for minutes, just like don't even. Oh, what the fuck? I pressed the wrong button. Is it rolling into the lava? I'm playing with fire there, literally. See, like, I mean, look at look at how massive this place is. Like, I understand the sentiment. It's supposed to be like this huge cavern, but goddamn. Just keep sprinting. Keep sprinting. See, I almost want to get that, that item as well, but, uh, you know, I ain't fucking around with that. Actually, how would you get over there? You don't, like, have to drop from above, do you? I think it's this. What am I doing? No, we're not doing it. No, 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 no. I gotta... I gotta resist the temptation. Oh, hello. These guys? I'm down with that. I'm okay with having this enemy in the demon ruins. Oh, and we have the thingy as well. You know which thingy that is. The power within monster. I don't know what else to call it. I don't even know if it has a proper name. Aside from the just the power within monster. Speaking of... Uh, I did have a promise to get power within, didn't I? Uh, at the start of this playthrough, I was like, yeah, that's gonna be my, like, big pyromancy. Didn't quite work out, did it? Is this thing fire immune? Holy fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. You know what? Just for that, eat shit. If you think I'm gonna stand outside and kill him like this, how the hell did I already lose all my Estus? All because of the stupid lava. We took the safe option. Got a, got a red Titanite chunk out of it. Yeah, listen, sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta like not mess around. Yeah, as I saw, or as I probably guessed, the thing is open, the boss room, because we already beat the Demon Fire Sage. 
over in the painted world. I'm assuming no bonfire, yep. Unless they're gonna have like some surprise boss there, something completely different. That's gonna like ambush you as you go, and I'm down with that, with zero Estus flasks. There's a boy. Who is that? Aside from lock on not working. Okay, it's some idiot with terrible fashion souls. And apparently infinite stamina. Yeah, terrible fashion souls. Oh, no, 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 I can't. Okay. Hold on just one second. Man, I wish I had an Elizabeth mushroom right about now. That would really like salvage this situation. Black Knight Helm. Cool. I can genuinely do without that. Makes your head look tiny. Uh, but. I guess we gotta. Just gotta face. Face our fears. Shit. There's gonna be. Xanthus King Jeremiah. Motherfuck. This dude is a bitch. He's gonna die. There's a lot of HP. And he has minions. Cool. Yeah, I mean I thought they I thought they were fighting him. Okay, well yeah. Are you seriously telling me that I have to go make this run every single time I die to this bitch? I'm gonna get real tired of having to run across half the world. That must be a closer bonfire. Holy. Oh! Isn't the bonfire like activated by killing that worm thingy? Doesn't it work like that? I think it do. See, yeah, that boy had a lot of HP. Let me see if I can... I've been meaning to like switch out my shield a little bit because... Nah, still mid-rolling. Because I was saying that my... Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck, okay, I forgot there's enemies here. No! <sighs> I slipped through the cracks. Fuck. It's really annoying. Just running. Just running again. How many souls was that? That was quite a chunk of souls. <sighs> Falling to your death in this game is just feels bad you know because your character has like this very sudden drop and you immediately realize you fucked up and you immediately get salty but that's just how it goes everybody's fallen to their death plenty of times in souls games i think it's just how it is It's because I forgot they actually put enemies there. I can't believe I fell through. Not actually looking at it now. I shouldn't be surprised I fell through that because... There is a legit hole there. But the only other thing I can think of is that they put the bonfire over there. 
which would also make sense. But see, the thing is, like, oh, is there no worm here? Hold on, I didn't even realize that a worm didn't spawn. Okay. Cannot believe it's Xantus King Jeremiah. What are the chances of that? The other thing is, oh, hello there. I spotted you out of the corner of my eyes. Hello there, bonfire. Oh, shit. Speaking of annoying enemies, you're looking at one right here. But I think I have the perfect solution. <laughs> Look at the. Are you hearing the noise that makes? Listen, I got 300 arrows. Uh, I can do this all day. I check and use my pyromancy as well. Slightly more effective. Listen, I've killed the blue dragon plenty of times in Demon Souls. If you think I'm lacking the patience to shoot 400 arrows into an enemy, you are very much mistaken. Anything for that cheap victory. And he dead. Hell yeah. Sometimes that's how you gotta play this game. You gotta get your cheese grater out, grab that sharp cheddar from the fridge, and just cheese it. But that means now I can safely check out what's over there. Aside from enemies, of course. Yeah, the base lava, like that lava looks way better. Uh, although I don't know if that's from the mod or from DS Fix, which I also have installed. Uh, because I know DS Fix, one of the things it definitely focused on was the lava. Mm, but, oh, fuck you. It doesn't really matter, really. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? Okay. You know what? If only you didn't deal so much damage. There's fucking four of them blocking your way. The question is... Can you... I'm not going to kill all of them with arrows, don't worry. Only this dude with an arrow. God, he's taking no damage. What do I have this thing up to? I think plus five. Yeah, that's not enough. Just don't get hit by that shit. Thank you. Man, they're really throwing them red titanite chunks at you. It's almost like they did something to make that into a useful item. And I'm out of... No, I'm, out, I'm not out of Homeward Bones. I thought I was. It's because I have a lot of shit cluttering up my inventory. Yes, we're going back. And it's time to look at the Xantus King. This boy is going to get it. Should use some weapon buff. Or the soul of an old soldier. Uh what the hell?
Where is he? Hold on, shouldn't he have spawned by now? Oh, don't tell me you gotta be in human form, it's like an invasion. Fuck. Let's do it. I really like precariously always running out of humanities. It's not really, it's not good. All right, let's do it. He's probably just going to kill me, but just in the off chance, you know that I have a chance. I'm sure he drops like a lot of good shit. All right, here we go. What the hell is this? He just... Oh, is he like the Capra Demon? Or whatever his name is? You know, whatever the Capra Demon is in this game? The nursery. Oh yeah, because we are in the... Yeah, we are there. Speaking of bitch-ass Capra Demons... Is that what Jeremiah is like as well? He just shows up. He's gonna like haunt me through Isolith. <sighs> That's the last thing I want. What the hell is that? Oh, it's, I should just expect these things to keep popping out of everywhere. Every nook and cranny, you know. Yeah, we got the elevator. Fringe benefits of this covenant. And this is a very convenient bonfire. Honestly. You know, I'm almost thinking. Wait. Oh, I had black flame all along. Why didn't I tune that earlier? That's actually pretty useful, I think. It's not a projectile though, but for that I have my bow and arrow, really. It's the other way. I'm sure as hell curious about it. It's a tight night chunk. I appreciate that. I do like me. Oh, if he spawned right now. I would have been, actually I wouldn't have been pissed because I'm well equipped. Alright then, cool. Cool beans. Let's move on to... I'm assuming it's gotta be centipede. Here, like... If they don't put... Mm, motherfuck. I swear it attack tracks more than it used to. Uh, yeah, they gotta put Centipede here, because if they don't, how will we... The fog door isn't there. How are we going to get through the lava if... Houston, we might have a problem. A slight bump in the road, you know. There's an item here. It's an Eito. Not an, the Eito. Gotta be a dex build to use that weapon. Actually, I'm a dex build. I'm not going to use the weapon though. What the hell? Please tell me he's here. And they just like made an intro for him. Am I stoned? Oh shit, it's a dragon ass. Fiery Cascades, Lost City of, I Lost City of Isolith. I think I'm stoned. But they, it's, it seems like they made like a little path here. This wasn't here before. Okay, maybe... Maybe they just changed the... Layout of the area. 
I'm okay with that. We can deal with that. Emo Solaire, is he gonna be here? No, he's not, but there's no bonfire either. Oh shit. Seriously? Um There's no way I'm gonna make it across there, is there? <sighs> oh, this one does slightly... Fuck! That was a really light, loud fuck. Uh, I hate... Like, listen. Some of the changes in this mod are just dickish, seriously. Like and now look at like what look at how reduced my HP is like I'm never gonna make it across there. There's no fucking way now. <sighs> I ran out of stamina. That was the issue. Dick move game, dick move. It certainly does make you appreciate the fact in vanilla Dark Souls of like always having max HP. Because it certainly helps. I'm sure yeah, that you can, like, go through here. Like, I'm sure it's not... But see, like, what if you're meant to get the orange ring from... Or orange chard ring from somewhere else, though? What if, like, that's what's up? Oh, look at the damage. Like, there's no, there's no chance in hell I'm going to be able to make it across. We just gotta sprint. Like you can't even heal quickly enough. What the shit? Oh, what if... Maybe you gotta look at the area where the dragon ass is. Maybe that's where the key to this whole thing is. I have 5600 souls, it's not the end of the world if I lose that. Because I, I first I thought the because the lava there is like a deeper orange. Uh, I thought that that's a different lava. Maybe it does less damage. That ain't the case. Like I didn't even have time to heal. And the way that drains my HP. Again, there's no way in hell I'm making it uh, making it across. It must be like some item, maybe that temporarily boosts fire defense or something like that. Until you get the orange shard. I mean like even, like I'm jumping above it boy. <sighs> this dragon ass. I don't know about these dragon asses. That is absolutely ridiculous. Not the fact that you don't know about the dragon asses. Okay, you take less damage like this. But still. I'm just thinking. Oh, okay. Use melted iron key. Pyromancy. 
Yes, the game heard me. The game heard my cries for power within. Short strength, endurance boost, but low, but lose HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unchanged from OG. Come on, dragon ass. I'm desperate enough that I don't know what else to do but fight you. But, listen. I've never even fought these things. They pretty much have the same moveset as the... No, not into the lava. Shit. I'm... Okay, you better drop something, boy. Lingering Dragon Crest. That's not what I was hoping you would drop. Oh. What the hell are you... Like, I'm checkmated. Luckily, I have a thingy. I genuinely don't know what to do. Like, like honestly. Uh, I gotta, like, figure this out. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I think that will, like, conclude this episode. Because I'm a little bit dejected as to what to do now. Uh, we'll pick it up from here next time. Maybe we'll go to a different area. Yeah. That's it for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the usual... See you guys next time. Peace out.